Hi guys, found a little compressed gas capsule laying in the road. No idea what it's come from. Don't know if it's empty, I'll find out in a minute. But I shall see if I can do another little pop pop boat with it. I should go out in the garage, cover my eyes and see if I can drill a hole in the end of that. Well that little capsule cleaned up very nicely. I've drilled a hole in it. My straw is just a tight push fit in it for a hull for my boat. I shall use a milk carton. I've drawn a line round it so we'll cut that out and see if it works. Well, there's our boat. drill a hole in it to mount the boiler. If you watched my previous pop-pop boat that's just using the single straw at the back, you'll know that I need to get another straw up the inside so we can actually squirt water in before the boat will start. Because if you just try and squirt water into a single pipe, there's nowhere for the air inside the capsule to go. So the idea is you squirt the water up the thinner pipe, that goes up into the capsule and the air can escape through the thicker pipe. Once you've got water in there, then you can take that pipe out the way and it will run. I was going to seal this in place with blue tack, but I've just been reading the instructions on my hot glue gun and that says it works at 180 to 200 degrees centigrade which is way above the boiling point and steam point for water. So as an experiment we'll just see if it works with hot glue. This is the rudder. It's just a bit of the plastic from the milk bottle carton. I shall hot glue this paper clip onto it that I've just straightened out. Like that. And then that will go up through the tube on the back of there and I can then bend it over the top to hold it in place. We've now got version 2. Version 1 failed because the plastic drinking straw actually melted where it went through the um, whatever we call this thing, <laughs> the boiler. So I've replaced it with a steel pipe I've actually put two tea lights here. I don't think it actually needs two, but I've put two anyway. And that chap on the back there, the dog, all he's there for is to hold the back in the water to make sure the pipe stays in the water, because it's a bit front heavy. I've got the rudder hard over to the left, which is why it's spinning round in circles. Again, it's virtually silent. So while it's going round in circles, I'll just do a quick summary. The hull of the boat is cut from a plastic milk carton. The boiler is a little compressed gas cylinder that I found in the road. The steel pipe has come from some garden equipment, some garden trellis, some cheap stuff from my bargain store for holding up tomatoes or that sort of thing, but it happens to be steel pipe, so I've used that. It's actually a bit big, the diameter of the pipe, so I've actually got a drinking straw shoved up inside it to make it a bit narrower, but it's working. Um, what else can I say? I used hot glue 
to actually seal where the pipe goes through the bottom of the boat and that's been an interesting experiment because that's working fine the hot glue, I was reading the instructions and it works from 180 to 200 degrees centigrade uh, boiling water and steam is only 100 degrees centigrade so it shouldn't melt the hot glue and I think that's about it I'll let it go around in circles for a few more minutes just so you can see that it is actually driving the boat I could straighten the rudder and have it go straight up and down the bath but have to keep reaching in to turn it round then. So I thought this time I'll just let it go round in circles. <laughs> 